Today, I'm going to show you how to make lighting just like this. First off, go to lighting and then click it. Then in the properties, go to ambient and then we're going to change this to like a purple color. So I'm going to type in 200, 160, 225. So you can see it's kind of like a purple color. Then for brightness, I'm going to keep that at 2. And for this color shift bottom, I'm going to keep this at black. But then for the color shift top, we're going to make it kind of like yellow. So I'm going to type in 215, 190, 135. And once again, you can see it's kind of like yellow like this. Then for this environment diffuse thing, I'm going to change that to 0.3. And this kind of makes everything look more bright. And then for the environment specular, I'm going to change this to 0.25. Then we're going to keep global shadows on. Then for outdoor ambient, we're also going to make this kind of purple. So I'm going to type in 125, comma, 100, comma, 150. For shadow softness, I'm also going to keep this as the default, 0.2. And if you want, this will make um, all the shadows, like if we make it higher, it'll make all the shadows more blurry. But if you make it go down, then it'll make all the shadows more like visible. So I'm going to keep it at 0.2. Then for this, I'm going to keep that a shadow map. Otherwise, it'll change all the lighting and stuff. Now if we just scroll down, and then for the clock time, I'm going to keep it at 14. Then for this geographic thing, I'm going to change it to 40. And this is like the direction of the shadows and light, so 40. Then we can leave all this. For exposure, I'm going to keep it at the default, which should be 0. Then for the fog colour, we're going to change it to 200, 170, 250, like that. And once again, kind of like that purple. And then for the fog end, this is going to be like how much fog there actually is. I'm going to change this to 2500. Just so you can kind of see it in the background. If you want, you can get rid of it if you just make it a huge number. Or if you want it to be closer, make it a smaller number. But yeah, 2500. Then in the explorer, click on lighting, click on plus. Then we're going to add in a colour correction. Then go to properties. And for brightness, we're going to change it to 0.05. For contrast. We'll make it 0.1 and for saturation I'm going to make it 0.15 Then for the last thing I'm going to add in a custom skybox and I have this plugin which has all these like different skies but I'm going to be using this afternoon sky one so if we click it and then apply without lighting like that and in the description there should be a link to the um, sky if you want to use it or a link to a plugin also if you want you can change any of these properties to whatever you want. This is just what I think looks good. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. And I'll see you later. Bye.